for about 30, 40 minutes. The ferocious winds sheared off the top half of this man's home. This is something like from hell. They're just rotating, debris flying every which way. In Denver, Sergeant Greg Miller was out on patrol when a sinkhole from floodwaters swallowed up him and his patrol unit. Luckily, I was able to get out of that and, and you know, not much of uh, injuries. <laughs> The storms also brought down a barrage of hail. So much in Denver, in fact, it had to be shoveled into piles from the streets. The tornado threat moves east Saturday to Nebraska and Iowa. And on Sunday, eastward again from St. Louis to Cincinnati. Front loaders with snow Ooh. in June. That, just, that is so wrong. There's so much that's wrong with that. And thankfully, we don't have any severe weather on the way tomorrow, but a weak cold front, that's yeah. going to uh, bring us a little bit of relief from the heat tomorrow, if you want to call it that, for one day. And then we we'll just really, want it to be dry. Yeah, it, it's going to be for most of the weekend. Okay. 30% chance tomorrow. All right, we'll take that's that. That's not so bad. All right, <laughs> beach forecast. As a lot of people are uh, headed out to the beaches, maybe already there. Look at the water temperature, though, for Atlantic City and Ocean City, just around 59 to 60 degrees. Air temperature will be in the middle 70s. Sunday will be around 70 degrees. A little bit warmer as you head toward the outer banks of North Carolina. Water temperature now just around 70, and they'll see highs tomorrow and Sunday in the middle 70s. Finally, today we went above 70 at Reagan National Airport. 75 degrees for our high. Our average for this date is 82, 92, 97, the record back in 1925. Show you our current reading of 70 degrees. Hard to believe that earlier in the week on Monday, our high was 92. Then we were in the 60s on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then today finally warming up just a little bit. 63 in Gaithersburg, the same Winchester and Martinsburg, 65 in Petersburg. We are going to see warmer air overspread the mid-Atlantic later on tomorrow. It's going to take a little bit of time. We have a few showers, a few storms across extreme western Maryland into West Virginia. These are really beginning to fall apart and will continue to do so as they move toward the east. Hardly any impact on the immediate metro area, but we will keep the clouds intact and we will see a little bit of patchy fall come early tomorrow morning. Widen the view out just a little bit. This is the weak cool front that's going to move across our area tomorrow afternoon, and that's likely to trigger a few showers and thunderstorms. But between now and then, relatively quiet around here with 60 to 67 for an overnight low. There's the patchy fog. Winds will be relatively light. As we look at our future cast for the day tomorrow, notice what happens during the midday hours. A few storms begin to pop up. These storms not expected to become severe, but may bring you some rain in your neighborhood, but once again, limited to only about a 20 to 30% chance. So most of us won't see anything at all by Sunday. It's going to be the better of the two days for the weekend. Lots of sunshine, daytime highs, upper 70s, low humidity, but that's going to change come Monday. Heat, humidity, sunshine and thunderstorms back in the forecast with daytime highs that will approach close to 90 degrees. Tomorrow, not a bad day. Start the morning off, headed off to the farmer's market. Temperatures around 65 degrees. Midday temperatures in the middle 70s by 5 o'clock, lower 80s. There's a chance for those showers and thunderstorms as we move through the afternoon and early evening hours. High temperature of upper 70s on Sunday by by Monday, upper 80s to around 90 degrees feels like temperature will make it feel even hotter than that. It won't be quite as humid on Tuesday and Wednesday, but still temperatures above average for this time of year. So three days, that was it for the low. Now we'll crank up the heat for the weekend. Okay, and we'd like to crank up the heat for the Nats too. Yeah, yes, they can't complain about get hot now, any huh? weather for the rest of this week, I guess. No excuses. <laughs> the Nats put up a stat they haven't seen since.